the English classical school, or my, my vision, as Schumpeter would call it, my vision of the history of economic thought, uh, is that the English classical school is the great detour, the great diversion from the mainline scholastic French tradition. The scholastic French tradition was a classic dash French tradition. <coughs> Continental tradition was a, mar- a subject of value theory. Uh, it was basically a, what I call pre-Austrian. I realize it's anachronistic to say it, that's really what it was. Uh, with Adam Smith and with Smith and Ricardo, we have a, and the middle James and John Stewart, we have a tremendous shift toward a new kind of theory. Uh, the theory which still plagues us, of course, in the present day, namely that the, the real real va- the determinant of value of, of prices, values and prices of goods, is not consumer ut- subjective utility, but objective labor pain, labor toil, whatever you want to call it, and uh, cost of production, which, which of course, are be down to labor toil. Uh, and this was established, uh, you know, basically Smith and Ricardo, and uh, it was then it then fell out of favor in England and was restored by John Stuart Mill and a, and a, and a tremendous act of filial pietism, paying his great debt to his father, and uh, by sheer by sheer intellectual bravura and the fact that he had tremendous stature in England at that time, won the day again and restored Ricardianism to its unfortunate place in the, in the history of thought. <coughs> 